Hello, my name is Trevor, and when I grow up, I want to be a painter. No, 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 sweetie. When you grow up, you want to be a Pokemon professor. No, I, I want to be a painter. Sweetie, I think we know what you want to be. But, but I thought I could be anything I wanted. Thank you for coming on such short notice, Mr. and Mrs. Pine. All right, guys, I just had a keen revelation. I looked at myself in the reflection and I thought to myself, I look homeless right now. Why didn't anyone tell me I look like a goddamn hobo? <laughs> hobo sexual, perhaps. No. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's an intro, I guess. <laughs> Subscribers down. Cool. Hey, it's TacHat9 here with more Nuzlocke Challenging. My life is challenging, frankly. In today's episode, we are going to lurk about Cerulean City like some sort of creepy homeless guy, which, you know, like... <laughs> art imitating life, really. And, yeah. So we are erstwhile gonna... We're just gonna, you know, kind of dither around for a little bit. See what's going on in this city. Hey, you. I'm trying to talk to you. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. How condescending. I don't like you. How about you? So it won't get dirty! Well then, that seems to defeat the purpose of having a bicycle, madam. <laughs> or is that Pee Wee Herman in disguise? Yeah! Nah. Cool. Grass and caves handle easily! Bike shop. Excellent, we're gonna wander about here. Whoa! Does she have wheels later? Oh. <laughs> Kinda looks like she just glided before without actually walking. What do you have to say for yourself? A plain city bike is good enough for me! You can't put a shopping basket on an MTB. Oh shit, she's a freestyling granny. <laughs> she's a hip hold granny who can hip hop, bebop, dance to you drop, and yo yo make a wicked cup of cocoa. References <laughs> dated. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Well, I'll have one. I'll buy it in your face and then hit you with it. Haha. <laughs> Hi, welcome to our bike shop. Have we got just the bike for you? It's a cool bike! Do you want it? Yes, please! Sorry, I can't afford it! Come back again sometime! Well, what a dickbag. I'm just gonna stand here looking at sadly. A shiny new bicycle. D he turned around when I poked it, like... It's like he knew that... <laughs> Stop touching my goddamn bike, son! Like he's wearing sunglasses inside. I like to think he's actually blind. Now, here's the thing for you. What's all these buildings that have no doorways to them? Like, are we to assume the doorway is at the back? I mean, I know that's the case sometimes, but not here. Cannot walk in there, nor there, nor there, nor there. People just uh, have to jump out the window every time they want to go to work. <laughs> it's like, all right, honey, I'm off to the shops. <laughs> what are you buying? Band-Aids, mostly. Okay, Slowbro, you sonic boom. Come on, Slowbro, pay attention. Slowbro is loafing around. <laughs> I like your style, Slowbro. You're my bro. Uh, do I have enough Pokeballs? I've got three. I might grab some more. Might sell some crap, too. What do you have to say for yourself? Use Repel to keep bugs and weak Pokemon away. Put your strongest Pokemon at the top of the list for best results. Cool. <laughs> He's actually just a sales clerk. I mean, business is slow. I'm the only one who appears to actually buy anything. Have you seen anyone else do any actual shopping in this game? No. None at all. I can buy 99 balls. No, I can't. It doesn't, it doesn't show me the cap. It just shows me how many I might be able to buy someday. Okay, I'll buy 15 balls. I will sell my heinously repulsive batch of... Potions. Because, as you may recall, this is a no-heal run, which is stupid and poopy. I'm still yet to confirm whether ether counts. I'm gonna sell my nuggets. I'm a gold mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go into the local shop and sell it to him. He's like, sir, we we uh we are a uh, convenience mart. We don't really trade in gold. You'll take my gold for five thousand Pokemon dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a prospector. You're a trainer too. Collecting fighting is a tough life, says the NPC, who's just eternally rooted into the spot. I think it's actually a talking tree. Speaking of which, I'm not going to talk to this asshole because I know he's just the stupid bushman. <laughs> the bushman of San Francisco. Fuck that guy. My husband likes trading Pokemon. If you're a collector, would you please trade with him? He has nobody to trade with. That's why he's sulking in the corner. Only people he can trade with are the people who randomly <laughs> invade his privacy. 
Hello there. Do you want to trade your Poliwhirl for Chinx? Yes, please. Here's my Poliwhirl. <laughs> uh, it's in its bee costume right now. This isn't Poliwhirl. Think of me when you get one. No, screw you. I don't want to trade my Poliwhirl. <laughs> I want to trade my stupid, smelly bee. Hello there, mister. Welcome aboard of the world of Scott Pellets. I think you had a late fun. Those buttons have a way you don't say that. No, no. We said that that matters so that it's fine. <laughs> None of them, please, because I can't understand you. He's got a mouthful of food right now. He's just got, like, this coffee cup. So maybe it's a mouthful of coffee. Every time he, uh, every time he says something, he spits it at me, like, Hello! <laughs> cool. Anyhow, I know this is where I'm supposed to use the item finder to find a random item. But instead, as I have no item finder in my possession, I will find the item the old-fashioned way. Yes! A candy of rarity! Who will we give it to? Why? Why do you even ask, my friends? Ciao, Bella! I will feed my bee some candy! Thank you! <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm crazy! Maybe Ciao Bella will become useful in this Let's Play. I don't know. Gen 1 Beedrill really does not impress me so far, but who knows? Maybe at level 32 it'll learn Hyper Beam, and I can... Well, I mean, I can give it a TM that gives it Hyper Beam. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway. The people here were robbed! It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. You appear to be the only cop in town, so I can see where your issues are, mister. <gasps> oh no! Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into a no good! Oh, that poor potted plant. Look at it. How haphazardly set upon the floor. I like the fact they haven't cleaned anything as well. Those miserable rockets! Look what they did here! They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig hoes! That cost me a bundle, it did! Look at it. Why is there shit on the wall? Like, have they literally wiped their own feces on the walls? And I love the fact that there's, like, claws here. I like think it's actually Pokemon... I mean, the Team Rocket are actually just, like, clawed, uh... Clawed fiends. Uh, maybe they're the devil! That makes sense. Anyway. Hey, stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander! Don't you believe me? Ah! <laughs> Loser. Although, frankly, if I had just burgled a house, I don't know if I'd be hanging out in the backyard afterwards to, like, mull about, you know? <laughs> maybe he's trying to teach his machop dig and it refuses to cooperate. Or machoperate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found that delightful. I don't care if you did or did not. All right, we are gonna whip you with some vines. See how your defense is. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, middling. Okay. I was gonna, uh, poison you next, but that seems pointless. Oh, there's a critical hit that could have gone better in the first turn, but oh well. Poot is leveling up, and that's an exciting thing for me, at least. I don't care if it is for you. A drowsy, eh? Chow Bella likes to drowse. Drowse. Hmm, okay. <laughs> yes, I'm going to make drowse a verb, damn it. Chow Bella comes in, she kind of hovers about doing her bee thing, and then she will be gone! Haha! <laughs> I don't know what drowsy is capable of. Uh, pounding, mostly. Alright, we're gonna pop a leech seed on ya. Some seeds for ya! Some seeds for you before you continue pounding me. Oh, let's dual wield the, uh, the health sapping. Yeah. Poison powder and leech seeds and... Okay, no more poison powder for me. You're poisoned. You're poisoned. You're seeded. You're seeded. You're receding hairline. <laughs> now I'll whip you with some vines. I'm pretty sure you're going to have better special than the uh, Machop. Yeah? Okay. You can't disable me twice. That would not be nice. I will give you advice. Um, don't go eating mice. Why the? Uh, yeah, that was, that was the end of that. <laughs> cool. Stop! I'll give up. I'll leave quietly. Eh. Okay, I'll return the tea I mice doll. Why? Why not just run away? I better get moving. Bye. If you're that fast, you could have just left this whole goddamn time. Before even fighting me, in fact, you could have not been here, getting your ass handed to you by a small child. I'll return this. 
I figure what's lost is lost. I just said it to Diglett and Diglett a TM. Oh, what a waste of a TM that would have been. Giving it to Diglett, you goddamn dighead. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, now, you know what we're going to do? We're going to catch ourselves a Pokemon. Can I catch one here? No. I can catch this tree, though. <laughs> it's a pseudo wudo. <laughs> what's that? I don't know. It doesn't exist yet. All right. Um, where do I go for Pokemon? I go south, I think. Aha. Yeah, uh, no, no, I don't think it'll be jumping over this ledge here. Ledge man! Allegedly. Aha, here we go. Into the grass, I am. I am, I am, I am. And I am going to catch myself a... Mankey! It's a man with keys! He will be mine. All right. We're gonna leech seed this young little monkey here. He'll scratch with vigor. A vigorous scratch. <laughs> Poot likes having his back scratched. Poot's like, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. And the Mankey who had been watching previous episodes said, you don't sound like that. Now I wonder if Chow Bella can actually sap away at the health here or if she's going to one hit KO. Or if she's going to die. I hadn't thought of that actually before I sent her out. Mm, yeah, okay, that's all right. I can handle that. Chow Bella can handle that. Actually, let's throw an early ball, because I just realized if this Mankey's poisoned, then that means he's going to still be poisoned when I catch him. Oh, god damn it! I really should have thought this further through. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, I've got a Mankey. Now the question is, will I keep a Mankey, or will it die? Put new Pokedex data added for Mankey. The Pig Monkey! <laughs> That's what I've been referred to. Mostly when I'm eating truffles and swinging from trees. When I'm high on acid. Cool. It could be Dosa one moment and thrashing away the next instant. Why, it sounds like another Trump. Do you want to give a nickname to Mankey? Yes, I'm going to nickname this one after another one of my viewers. This one is going to be named... I wonder how much room I've got. No, not enough. So we are going to name you... <laughs> <laughs> That's the sound of him vomiting from all the poison he's ingested. No, he will be named Butts! After Butts McGillicuddy. Okay, now. How many steps can we take with Butts? 23 steps for Butts. Butts nothing. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna try something here. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, so... You're the daycare man, right? I run a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your... Pokemon, wink wink. Yes. Which Pokemon should I raise? <laughs> Do you want me to rear your butts? <laughs> Excellent. All right, you can have my butts. Fine, I'll look after butts for a while. Come see me in a while. Okay, I'm going to walk out. I'm going to walk back in. And I'll be like, hello, sir. I want my butts back. Back already? Your butts need some more time with me. You owe me $100 for returning this Pokemon. Thank you, here's your Pokemon. Tibalt got his butts back. Now let's see, his butts... Ah, oh, shit, butts is still... <laughs> you didn't cure him of poison? What kind of goddamn... Oh, okay. Well, let's count. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... I'm just really concerned that butts is gonna die anyway. This is really stressing me out, man. Go! I need to heal my butts! I've got poison in my butts! <laughs> and bursting into the Pokemon Center, I've got poison in my butts! He's like, you're the third one this week. Bend over. All right, well, that was enough to save butts from a painful death. Poison searing through his veins. Oh, poot! You cheeky little monkey, you could have killed him. At last! <laughs> that was a terrible version of at last. I'm so sorry you had to hear that. Anyway, I think we're actually going to call it there. Because, look, I'm so happy that I've got butts in my party. We have a third party member! Friends and foes and everyone in between. And that's worth toasting to. Ding! Anyhow. Thanks for watching another episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, and other things. Annotate. Um, 
link it on your you porn account? I don't know. And I'll see you next time. I think you know what we might be heading in for. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I don't know why I winked the second time instead of nudging. Fuck it, I'm gone. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang! It's our first step towards taking over this world! This is why I can only do these elf, these let's plays when there's no one else in the house. And if it went for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world! So let's see you deal with this! My yapping mouth! Ma 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 ma! I'm a scat man! <laughs> well, he's like, I hate that song! Motherfucker! God, that's a long bridge. Okay, I did a good job. <laughs> Mario goes home now. <laughs>